This is Brenda Starr with Backstage 360. I'm here with Core 10, and we're having a great time. They're doing their first show with this lineup, and I'm here with the guys. And I want to talk to you guys. How are you guys doing? Great. Great, Great Brenda. Awesome, yeah. awesome. They're about to go on stage. Uh, but what I want to ask you guys about is you just released a video just in the last couple days, and it's creating quite a commotion. Almost 40,000 views in three days. That's amazing. Really cool, so uh, tell me about the video. Well, Sean called our friend Scott Avalos. It asked him if he would come shoot us in a live setting. And he came down to our studio and set up three cameras. And um, we filmed us playing the entire song three times. And we did three entire takes, all live, um, with all, all live cameras at the same time and live video, live uh, audio and he came, took it to his house and edited it down and he put in some background uh, the, the background footage over it and i think since it's been released people have mistaken it and thought it was like a full scale full full budget like a record yeah. release production. video yeah, yeah. full production video because it ended up looking so good because he used three cameras and he did such a great job in editing but it's not it's just us in the rehearsal studio right. totally live no edits one take uh, it, i mean it's basically as stripped down as you can get it and um, so it's gotten good and, and negative feedback, but I think it's mostly because people think uh, it's shot so well, it looks like a real video, like we really meant to put out a real uh, video from a record label, and it's not. It's just us playing live in the studio. Just a little peek of what's to come. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 If we were gonna do it, I don't think we'd be doing it in our little hole in the wall that we're, yeah, we're practicing and rehearsing and trying to write stuff in, so, space. yeah. Right, so yeah, just it's literally done where we rehearse. It's in our rehearsal room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very cool, very cool. So since I last saw you, uh, did Ronnie King join the band? Because I think Ronnie was <laughs> like seven years ago. I joined the band. No, just joking. So they went to Nam without you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they did. You know what? I love Nam, but not so much. Been there, done that? It's so loud. It, it's so loud at NAM, right? I, I don't go to NAM either. No. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I love it, but it's it's too loud. Well, very good. Well, I'm glad you're here today, right? I am here today. Very good, very good, very good. So let's talk about the song that you did the video. It's called Art of Valor. Act of Valor. Oh, Act of Valor, okay. And uh, I'd like to know what the song is about. Who wants to tell me? Okay, well, the song is about two soldiers who are basically in the throes of war and uh, they lose their whole platoon and they start to really come down and, and fall into grief and don't want to fight anymore but then they start to think about family and home and they remember a line that they pretty much give all military that anger is more useful than despair and so the main thing is they just get angry and they fight their way out and they make it back home but one of the soldiers finds out his son is against what his, what his dad has done so it turns out that he has another fight back at home on his own home front. And uh, it's kind of about how, how he handles that situation. Wow. So, yes. Yeah. And it's just kind of, there's always a fight. There's always something in life you got to fight for. And yeah. I always say it, all of life is working through adversity. Right. The song kind of builds like, like we're going to die, and then it goes to like we're not going to die, right? That's exactly the point. You called it. That's, I when we slow down and we go darker he's they're in despair and then we come out is when Duncan goes full bore with it that's when they start to realize that there's something to fight for and that's family and freedom and home wow wow yeah that's awesome when you think about what our military goes through yeah so, they, they pay the ultimate sacrifice yeah. and there's at such a young age Are you kidding me to make that commitment at 18 years old straight out of high school yeah and you were surfing right uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. You dodged the draft, didn't you? <laughs> Just we're, a little. We're huge supporters wow. of the military, and especially, you know, those that are serving overseas. It's a big commitment, and we really appreciate it. So, we have, you know, we have a song about it, at least one or two. So, it's it's uh, something we, uh, we really do take seriously. Uh -huh. Awesome. So, tell me, how did, how did uh, you get involved with these guys? This is Joe. Hi, Joe. Yeah, I'm Joe. Um, Basically, uh, Chris and I have been best friends since we were 11 years old, playing in in bands and music, and for for a long, long time. Uh, and uh, actually, at Nam, 
Ronnie's favorite place. Uh, Sean, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean, Sean, uh, Sean was here. talked to Chris and, and met up with Chris, and we, 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 we've known each other throughout the scene, the mu you know, the music scene in Orange County for a while, but um, we're, we're never tight. But uh, hit up Chris about joining this project and saying that David was involved and um, needed a guitar player, and they gave me a call, sent me some tracks, um, and uh, I was currently in, you know playing in another project but I, I came uh, we're, we're kind of on a hiatus at the moment and just doing little things here and there and then made the room to, to come in and it just kind of fell together and on the other point one of your guys is deployed right yes uh, I mean that's that's the whole reason why we're on hiatus is uh, our bass player Mike Neeson uh, in the other project which is 12 gauge embrace he's uh, active military right now um, he's Navy and uh, he got deployed so we haven't been able to do much, but he's actually coming back. We're going to be doing a, a little acoustic show for the next couple weeks um, with him before he goes out again. So. Yeah, I mean, what a, what a good, good group to get together with. I mean, between David and Ronnie, how many records have been sold? In? About 90 million. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? That's, yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Wow, 90 million between yeah. you two? Yeah. Wow. Wow, who's got the bigger half? Dave, a little bit. Of <laughs> wow. Hey, well, we're, you know, the great thing is, is together, you know, you have a hand, right? Yes. Individually, there's fingers, right? But right. as you put them together, it's a yeah. fist. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you gotta love that. So. <laughs> oh. I took that from Peanuts. Are you Come fisting? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was that kind of wow. thing. Stop it. Okay, we've got to behave. All right. Let, let's hear from Chris. Chris, tell, yeah. tell us something we don't know about you. I'm not Chum Lee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody on the internet saying I am. <laughs> no, I just, I've been playing for years. Same, you know, me and Joe, we go back to we're like 11 years old, jamming over the years. <laughs> Met Sean two years ago at NAMM, just kind of kept in touch, talked about maybe doing something on a solar project, and when they decided to get the, you know, the metal thing going again, hit me up to play bass, and, you know, Joe was the perfect candidate, I thought, so they gave him a chance, and everything is history. Yeah. I know, what's kind of cool is there's so much experience here, and such a variety of experience, because, like, you also play in a reggae band, right? Yeah, a band called Low Budget. So that's 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 awesome, and, and Ronnie's got a wide variety of experience and different genres, and just all this coming together is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So awesome! Well, it thanks, all guys. Together tonight. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ha ha ha! All right, any last words? Well, yeah. wait, wait for our record. Yeah. yeah. Wait for the record. Yeah. Record. yeah wait. wait for the our record. record's coming. It's gonna kick ass, and then you're gonna see a really good video after that too. <laughs> you see a real video. Oh, right on. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to go watch the show. This is Brenda Starr for Backstage 360 with Core 10. What up? All right. Yay, Brenda.